Previously on... What is this again? Ruby abridged. Aren't there enough of those already? Oh my god, sis! We're gonna be schoolmates! Oh my god, this is the best day ever! Yeah! Still a good episode. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Seriously, to even find an episode of this series, you'd probably have to search up the words Ruby abridged and then have to skip to, like, the sixth result page. Uh, I didn't know you wanted to See, that joke proves that I thought at the time that I'm, I'm not gonna get anywhere with this. And now you're like, what, second most popular, second yeah. first most popular Ruby Abridged? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Progress! Normal animals and paint their skin black like that signal place. Oh god, that's horrible. Do they really do that? Eh. What do you mean, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this the series didn't start getting views until after I actually changed the name to Ruby Abridged. You know what it was called before then? Abridged Hair Ruby. Oh. It was the word Wait. abridged, and then P-A, and then a dash, and then Ruby. Uh, Problem is that if somebody uh, searches up Ruby Abridged, uh, they're not going to find that immediately because... The word Ruby isn't technically one full word in the title. Brownie, sweet, you got any left? No, sis, you're not understanding. I think there was something in them. Oh, even better! I mean, like, drugs! Yeah, what'd you think of that? By the way, back to the Ed thing. Anyone else think that's how uh, Osmond would describe sex with somebody? <laughs> How's the sex? <laughs> eh? <laughs> I said this last time, but I feel like I should explain Yang, uh, how Yang's voice came to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, back before I decided to do episode two, while I was writing episode one, I decided that if I ever do decide to do an episode two, I had an idea that I wanted to do with Yang that I ended up scrapping. And the first joke I came up with for Yang was that, uh, Brownies, you got any left? And the whole thing leading up to her thinking, her wish, thinking that brownies had, uh, like, pot in them. And that was going to be Yang's entire joke. She was going to be the drug head, like, hippie sort of, yo, dude, if you, like, and just the typical druggy character. And I thought, what kind of voice would be fitting for a character like that? And my mind instantly thought of Otto from The Simpsons. <laughs> so, that's where her voice came from. And to be fair, Part of it is still me just doing an auto impression. Just that low, just like. Oh my god! What do you want to do, imaginary? Oh, yep, here she comes. Yes. Cutest character ever. Also that um, also that smoke effect. Did you like? Where did you get that? That's that just looks so good. Oh, that's just the green screen effect I found on YouTube. Oh, oh wow. dude. That looks like a really good particle simulation of a smoke effect, actually. I couldn't help but notice you not see me noticing you. I still have it. Because hmm. I'm gonna have Chibi Ruby show up in the future, and she... And of every course. Every time she shows up, she uses that same puff. Hmm. Also, did it... Has anyone, has anyone ever po pointed out that, like, when Jean says anything with, that starts with a... says any word that starts with a Y, he pronounces like a J? Yeah. Is that, like... Signifying that he's like trying to point out that his name is spelled with a J, or like his name is John Ark, or is that just that's just him pretending to be Spanish and failing? Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. okay, makes sense. Yeah, that would be a sure sign that he's faking it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You should probably all know that um, my original plan was to have John. Uh, his entire, his, this Casanova wannabe personality, I thought, uh, his entire thing was, he was, it was going to be revealed later that he was faking the Spanish accent to make, because he thought it made him seem sexier, which it doesn't, but people just seem to love it so much that I'm just like, fuck it, I'm keeping it. And now, Jonak is a staple. Jonak! <laughs> That just becomes so fun to say. You know what, I'm just gonna walk up so one day in front of like all the people in my high school and just accidentally <laughs> s and just say, SHUNAK! And then like, 
play the actual music behind me, and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? Unless you find at least one out of every, uh, say, five or six people who are just like, oh, I get hey. it. Yeah, that like, one guy's like, hey, I know that. Oh, maybe after this goes up, they'll be like, hey, I know these people. I heard them in this one video. <laughs> I'm really proud of this, uh, Ice Cube fire effect, because I pretty much accomplished all of that by complete accident. It actually looks like there's actual distortion on the other end of the ice, like that, that the, how the ice would, like, distort the, uh, actual image. It's pretty cool. By the way, the background is all, like, darker because I was trying to make it, because the entire place is covered in ash. Mm. Because in yeah. the original, after Ruby sneezes on Weiss, her whole, uh, character model goes darker. Mm. That's supposed to represent okay. Ash, so that's what that was. Ruby. We're in an anime. We're in an anime. Shit, you're right. Don't worry, Sam, I got the perfect disguise. That moment where they just accept it and go with it. Just accept the anime. Embrace the anime. Be the anime. Love the anime. This is just my baby. Isn't she adorable? I think that's what I hastily said to myself when I said. You know what, I'm gonna call myself an otaku. I basically just said that to myself. I never learned what the what the what an otaku is. What is I an got, otaku? I'm reminded of like it's SpongeBob. I got a liquid anime! <laughs> uh just think of it as another term for a nerd. Mm. So like a weeb? Yeah, only difference. I don't mind my culture and I don't think Japan's the greatest country in the world. Yeah, I'm and kind I of a weeb in the case that I'm like a super anime nerd, so basically I am an otaku. And I don't eat ramen because it's delicious, I eat ramen because I'm broke. I don't even eat ramen. <laughs> I eat ramen because it's delicious. Nice. Wacky is custom nerf, but the word. Like, <laughs> my one of my favorite lines from Austin. What do you mean, you people? A lot of people thought that was a, a Sword on Sword Art Online abridged reference. It wasn't. <laughs> oh my god! I think I just remembered that. Yeah, I love that abridged though. I just ate another spider. Yang, don't you have your own friends you'd rather stalk? I can't find them. Everyone here is just a flat walking shadow. It's creepy. Can't you tell them apart by their voice? Everyone here sounds the same, too. It's almost like we're all being voiced by the same guy who's never acted before in his life, so he's just changing the pitch of his voice for each character. And here's me making fun of myself. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But, you know, I wouldn't blame him. Voice acting takes some time to get used to. I do it again in episode 3 when... Yeah. Yang's oh, and then there's this, of course. Ah! Oh, Jesus! I was slightly more prepared, but ow! I could... I didn't realize until it was too late. So here's the thing. Uh, this is this is episode two. This is when my audio was still shitty. So this audio. So sometimes the audio would accidentally come out loud. So how do you think it turns out when I try to make it loud? Oh god! <laughs> you monster! In terms of pot shots, I am a master of pot shots in myself. But yeah, um, uh, I was about to say, uh, in episode 3, when Yang says, uh, Am I the only one who finds it weird that Ozbin mentioned it, mentioned giving us dorm keys yesterday and then we all slept in the ballroom? It's because in the Ozbin speech in my series, he mentions, like, you, you all, all get keys to your rooms and then they all end up sleeping in here. And that's not in the original, that was my screw up. <laughs> so that was just me looking back and like, I'm surprised nobody like Why do you keep that? pointed that out. Think she might be even weirder than you. Excuse me. Uh -oh. Hello again, man. Hey, do you still like my baby? <laughs> Yay. That doesn't work. That's never worked. This cat girl's getting annoyed. You two idiots are standing on my mattress. You don't want cat. Interesting thing about Weiss's character too. Um. You'll notice that she's not that different from her canon counterpart, which is weird for me because usually I just completely do whatever the hell I want with the characters. 
But the reason she's like this is because I couldn't think of any other ideas for her. The only other idea I could think of was just completely doing the opposite of what she is in the original and making her all, like, timid and quiet and shy. So, like, when Ruby falls onto her suitcase, she'd be like, Oh my gosh, are you okay? I, I shouldn't have left the suitcases there, I'm sorry, but I couldn't think of anywhere to go with that, so... I went with... Just... I just went with what... I, I just took it from the original because I had no ideas. And surprisingly, it ended up working. I mean, she's not anyone's favorite character, but it works for the story, at least. Yeah, I just, I told, I mentioned this at the last recording, but still, I just love how Blake goes immediately from, great, now we're really good friends, guess what, I used to be a terrorist. <laughs> just that <laughs> 0 to 180 transition, just go full 180. Well, you don't do that when, you don't do that when you make new friends, you're just like, ah, we are not friends, let me tell you what I have done. You don't you want to know the hell hole that I did it, of the things that I did in my life. With this spoon. We can get ice cream after. Uh, damn it, now I want ice cream. I was trying to do a Mr. Popo impression, but... Eh. What do you mean, eh? I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Jude Cole, back to school. That's what this song is. Because it's just so fitting. <laughs> it is September. Yeah. Yep. So that was episode two. Still a good one. Yes.